Hello everyone, how are you all doing today? Hope you're doing well. I'm excited to be here for the first Hugo conference event. Thanks for having me. I've got a lightning talk today about using Purge CSS with Hugo. But before we get started, I want to give a quick few words about me. I'm from the UK and I'm living in Osaka, Japan. And I'm working remotely for Trimble Technology in the US as a front end developer. I love open source software and tools. I'm involved in lots of projects on GitHub. I'm a co-maintainer of HTML5 Boilerplate, HTML Hint, the Hugo documentation site, and I'm a regular contributor to Bootstrap too. Okay, so on to Purge CSS. This is a really great tool for removing a new CSS from your project. Now this is great because it can decrease the size of your CSS and therefore improve page load rendering times. So I'm going to quickly show you the kind of savings you can make. Now, Bootstrap is a wonderful and feature-packed CSS component library. I think it's got around 25 components, but it's unlikely that your site uses all of them. Uh, so if you're loading the Bootstrap CSS as it is, you're going to be ending up loading a lot of CSS that isn't being used. So let's take an example. Uh, let's take this nice blog layout. Now, if we open up DevTools and look at the network panel, and reload. We can see it's loading the Bootstrap CSS here, which is after it's gzipped and minified, it's 29 kilobytes. Now, if we run a lighthouse test on it, which I uh, did earlier today, you can see that although it loaded 29 kilobytes of CSS, we have potential savings of 27 kilobytes. So the vast majority of CSS isn't being used. OK, so to demonstrate how you can use Purge CSS with Hugo, I've made a quick uh, demo repo which I've put on GitHub, which I'll show a link to. So the first thing you'll want to do is load the post CSS Purge CSS npm package by adding it to your package JSON file, as I've done here. Then next, in your post CSS config, you want to add the fields for the post CSS Purge CSS package. Uh, the important things to list here are, in the content, you need to make sure you've listed the paths to your JavaScript, markdown files, and HTML templates to make sure all of the CSS classes that you want to be included in the final CSS are included. OK, so next, I've copied and pasted the HTML from that blog template we, had, we saw on the Bootstrap site. So it's exactly the same HTML. I've just replaced the CSS, uh, uh, the full version of Bootstrap CSS with this here, which sends the CSS to post CSS. Uh, so it will be uh, processed by this config file. So I'll minify it and use post CSS to, to deal with it. OK, so if for the purposes of this demo, we have the site publishing to the docs folder, which will be hosted on GitHub pages. So I've uh, specified that in our file here. And I've published it already to this link here. So let's take a quick look. OK, here we go. As you can see, it's identical to the Bootstrap demo page here. But let's take a look in the network panel at the CSS and see how the size compares. Oh, wow. Look, it's now just five kilobytes, and this includes both the Bootstrap core CSS and the specific styles for the blog as well, this blog example. So we've got tremendous savings. Right then, so that's using Purge CSS with Hugo. I hope you found this talk interesting. Uh, do feel free to check out my demo on GitHub. Uh, I've written up a blog post which is explaining the steps of this as well if you're more of a reading person. Uh, yeah, that's all for me. Thanks.